All right, welcome to part four of our rocket tutorial. In part four, we're going to be animating the rocket as well as adding particles coming out of the rocket engine. So to get started, what we want to do, let's make sure we're on frame one here. And you want to grab your plane or your sky and just kind of move it back. Make sure it's away from the rocket. There we go. We don't, you don't want the rocket to collide or go into the plane. It'll look like the fins of the rocket are coming out. And then I'm going to select the rocket as well and just kind of make sure. If I hit period, if you push period on your number pad, it'll zoom in on the rocket. And there we go. All right, so we're going to animate the rocket going straight up. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to insert a keyframe at frame 1. So if you're not on frame 1, go there. And you'll press I. And then you want to select location. And that will insert a keyframe, a location keyframe. And remember, you can tell you have a keyframe because it'll be yellow here. And also, if you mess up, you can always go to that keyframe and press Alt and I to delete a keyframe. Okay, so once you have that first one, we're going to go to frame 50. We're going to be doing our keyframes every 50 frames. So we're at keyframe 50. You're going to press G to grab, Z to move it up on the Z axis, and then the value 9 to move it up 9 blender units and then press enter. So that was G, Z, 9, and enter. And then you're going to insert the keyframe, so you'll press I, and you'll select location. And we're going to continue doing that, so we'll go to frame 100. We'll press G, Z, and 9, and enter. And then we'll press I, and select location. And we're going to keep doing that till we get to frame 250. So we'll go to frame 150. We'll press G, Z, 9, and enter. And then press I and select location. And then we've got two more keyframes. So frame 200, press G, G, Z, 9, and enter. And then press I select location and frame 250 G Z 9 and enter and then press I and select location and once you have those keyframes you should have six you should have one at 150 100 150 200 and 250 go ahead and go back to frame 1 and press Alt A and you can see your animation that you've just created. Now looking at this we can see that obviously our sky is not big enough so what we are going to do is make it big enough. So we're going to right click on our plane press S and then Z and you can scale it up on the Z axis and you can even make it higher and then go ahead and hit Alt A and just make sure that your sky is big enough to contain uh, your rocket. Yep. Alright. Cool. So once you're good with that, and if you look at mine, you can see, yeah, we're good. The rocket looks good. Excellent. Alright, so what we're going to do, you want to right click on your rocket and press period. And what we really want to do is select this rocket engine and zoom in on it. We're going to go over here to material and we're going to add a new material. And you can kind of give your rocket a color here with the material. We'll do that. And let's add a second material. And this second material, um, we'll just name it exhaust because it's going to be 
the exhaust that comes out of the rocket engine. And for this second material, we're going to make it a halo. And I'll walk through the values that you want to put in. Alright, so under alpha here, we're going to set it to 0 0.80. and then go ahead and click on the diffuse color and we'll set uh, red to one and then green and blue will be at zero and that will give us a nice red color for our uh, rocket material the exhaust that's coming out okay so under halo here let's set the size to 0.132 we'll put the hardness at 45 and then under where it says add let's put it at 0.75 there we go and while your engine is still selected let's go ahead and go to texture here click new and go ahead and select an image and you'll go to the 506 you want to go to open here go to the 506 the blender folder and then blender textures here and you can go ahead and pick out um, it doesn't matter which one any of these will work any texture and hit open okay and if you hit F12 you can get a little preview of what your texture will look like alright so after you've done that we're going to go to the particles click on plus and we're gonna set up our exhaust system so let's just name this exhaust system the type it's going to be an emitter we're going to change the amount to 750 we're going to want the uh, exhaust to start out a little later in our project so we're going to put it at 15 for the start and then we'll have it end at 250 that way it'll go the whole time and then for the lifetime uh, let's put it at 100 you guys can change these values as you preview it. We want it to emit from the faces and we'll ch make sure that random and even distribution is checked. Under velocity uh, where it says normal we want to change that to 0 0.05 and the same with random put that at 0 0.05 okay and then down here where it says render we have it on halo here and then we want to change it uh, to be on rendering material 2 material 2 if you remember is our exhaust that we set up with the halo and then you want to click on display here and under display we want to click on circles that way we'll have kind of like little circle or bubbles coming out okay and then once you have all that set up you can go ahead and view it so if you push alt a you should see a little particle system coming out and if you hit f12 at any point you should be able to see what those particles look like and if you don't like what you see you can always go back and you can uh, basically change the properties you can go to the materials and change the materials if you don't like it um, like if you want to add rings or lines or whatever just uh, hit escape and then hit F12 and render it again and see what you come up with and let's see if we can make these rings like a red or orange color 
and we'll go back to uh, frame one here, Alt A, and then I'll hit F12. And when I did that, the rings are now kind of an orangey color. So go ahead and mess with the uh, settings. You can make the colors whatever you want. Um, just have fun with it and get it the way you want it to look. And if you want to mess with the particle system, you can do that as well. I just gave you some numbers to go by. All right. And once you're done with part four, remember just go to File and Save. And that'll be it for this lesson for part four.